Ciao guys, today Wood here. So in this video I want to show you a new program that came out on Steam not so long ago, actually like uh, two days ago, that is called FPS VR. Probably you've seen already in the review from Sweet Viver about the Pimax 5K that I really suggest you to watch because uh, it's super detailed, even if a little long actually but it's a great great video gonna leave it in the card over here by the way let's go back in topic and let's talk about this uh, new program with this program you're gonna be able to do something that wasn't never so easy before and is to see real time and every second during your gameplay the fps that you are having in your games that's very handy when you want to put the details of the game in the right way to have the best performance but the, the best visuals every time this cost a little like a three four $49 that is nothing and there's a little thing that uh, really really worth everything that's make it super useful not just for uh, people like me a reviewer that want to have an eye on the FPS when you try a new headset or uh, try a new application and stuff but also for just people that want to enjoy the game and get in the social VR Anyway, let's jump with the Logitech G20 that I got uh, some time ago and I never used it in the channel in Assetto Corsa and let's see together how this program works and um, in the detail and let's go around with an amazing car at Imola. Let's see, let's talk about it. Okay, here we are in Assetto Corsa, we are in a DeLorean and I think it's the best way to show everything up. Uh, let's get outside a little this car because it's just amazing. This is a mod, so it's not even official, but it's made so well. The guy is creepy, by the way. Uh, I don't have anything, any boundaries on. So let me get the end out of time over here. Look at this. This is amazing. Let me get this in the front as possible. Look at that, amazing, wow, my dream car. Doesn't have the flux capacitor in this case over there, nor this is Doc or Marty, but wow, we are in the DeLorean and that's the real deal. Anyway, uh, let's get back in topic. Uh, it's just amazing inside, look at that, it's old. Okay, so uh, let's get back inside and let's explain a little bit uh, why we are starting these uh, okay we have the clutch over here the clutch in video game is not best anyway so over here what you're gonna show what is gonna show up is this overlay FPS VR let me get out of the box just a second okay and uh, you can click on it and you're gonna have all the option that you need and this is just amazing because uh, you can make it start with Steam VR every time. You can uh, run it, uh, minimize. You can minimize to the tray, uh, and of course you can show it, and it's gonna be there. And I'm gonna see in a second. And we can also put it in the controller. So uh, we can put under the controller. So it's gonna be over here on the back uh, with all the information. Oh wow, it's running very bad right now. Is that uh, the interleaver projection? Yes, it was. Uh, let me see if it goes up a little or we can run it also on the bottom I really suggest under because it's a movement that you don't usually do instead of the bottom uh, uh, it can be a little more visible in a regular way also we can save the history of the FPS uh, so we can have uh, like a report at the end and that can be very very useful and that's super super handy we can say uh, change a super sampling for application or the manual super sampling directly from here so uh, i want to have a, a little more uh, let me stick it again to, to uh, there uh, we can have a, we want a little more fps we can just run it down and those are gonna go up we can change the opacity and uh, make it more opaque or not and change also the side uh, I'm gonna keep it bigger because with the regular vibe is hard to see also we can mute our microphone and that's great to have this toggle so handy over here because I is never in that position and overall we have uh, all the different reprojection option that we can put in on every time 
So, uh, let's go around and let's uh, see a little bit how this SPS works. So, if you don't have controller, it's gonna get exactly... It's a, kind of the first time that I go around Imola with, uh, with the DeLorean, so I don't know how it's gonna uh, react to the, with the brakes and stuff. Anyway, let me get over this turn. Okay, so as you can see, we have over here the FPS count on real time, the GPU frame time in a millisecond, and the GPU usage. And that's very, very useful because we can see also how much we are like choking our GPU during the gameplay and with our Steam VR super sampling. We have a reprojection radio that is uh, pretty high right now. I'm, uh, I was dropping a lot of frame actually, 60 frame. And the uh, year was long. Okay, some drifting. Let's see if we can get to 88 miles per hour. In the meanwhile, and, uh, and then we have the average FPS. This is very, very useful because uh, that's what we are gonna look when you do like a review of the game or you want to know the overall results of everything that should be 90 to have a good VR experience of course is not the case but in a, like a driving simulator like this one it's not super important to have a, a, like a super FPS anyway because the, it's very hard to get sick like you get sick if you get car sick in real life that, that's uh, the real deal Okay, now we are starting our lap for the best time ever and probably gonna get to 88 miles per hour but doesn't seem like we're getting back in time Flux capacitor It's fluxing so We also have the CPU frame rate frame time, sorry that is uh, very very useful and the CPU usage as well Okay, this was a kind of long riffing Okay, it's like uh, it's like a drive on soap. Also, we have the the thread that we are using on the GPU. So how much we are using GPU and a GPU? That is very very useful to have it like in front of you every time. And also, as I said, we have the dropped frame over there. The game is not performing like super well for some reason is going slower than before than my usual but also because i'm recording so keep in mind that usually there's a five or ten percent difference and you can see also the timing over there that is changing now i hope that i did this review with you guys able to watch this fps count because it was on my i think uh, i'm recording with my right eye so in case I'm gonna have to do everything again, let's do this turn. Whoa, drifting, pretty major drifting actually. And here we are, these are the options. And it's very, very nice. It also tells you from how long you're playing a game. And that's creepy, I don't wanna know it. Because I wanna be completely immersed. And uh, basically that's it. So let's finish this uh, lap so we can talk a little bit more about this uh, new implementation, what is going to be the use, who is going to use it more than other, and why I think that is uh, so great. Some more drifting over here, but we are in control. A little long, we didn't keep the velocity, but Hey, this is amazing. Look at this. We have all everything in there. Wow, whoa. And the, the lap is done. Look at the frost eater vent. And here we go. We are done, so let's go. Oh, the flux capacitor didn't work. Let's park on the side. And let's get back. 
And here back guys, that was all. So it's very, very interesting how this thing can be useful, not just for content creator or reviewer uh, like me or, or my colleagues that want to know like the performance of the game or change all the settings every time to have the best visual possible to show you the game but also for the fact that having that microphone toggle over there make it super, super useful in a social VR, like you are in Allspace, or you are in a rec room, you are in VR chat, or uh, Iberia, the, the new game that came out, in Eco Arena, everywhere you want, you can use that toggle and it's just gonna toggle up, toggle on and off your microphone and you're gonna be able to have some privacy sometime if you wanna talk with your girlfriend or people that are around you. And that's super, super useful also because it's super handy and easy to change a super sampling on the fly, to change a reprojection. So if something is not running like you expect, you just uh, turn on the reprojection and everything is gonna be better in a, the matter of second. You can also save all the reports that you're gonna add that on your PC and you're gonna be able to share it and know a little better how the game was performing. Anyway, guys, uh, this program for me is totally, totally worth it. Like uh, $3 are nothing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, a, it's like a button for the microphone if you don't use anything else. But for me, as a super potential, I'm gonna use it forever because I have it there on the back of my motion controller that can be this, can be an Oculus, can be a Windows Mixed Reality. It doesn't matter because it's an overlay in Steam VR. When you use it, like really disappear in a second during the gameplay, you wanna check a second what's your frame rate is there, you wanna check if your GPU is blowing up and uh, it's all there. All the information are in the back of your hand or in the back of your controller. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a little different. I wanna really to try uh, to do some, uh, to go around Nesetto Corsa and, uh, and talk, a little more chill review. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks you so much for watching. Ciao.